subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Wild Boar Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, the potatoes are ready. You want to help me dig them out? Great, we can have baked potatoes for dinner this evening. Hey, where did you come from? It's okay, Hero. We have enough potatoes to share. It has a snout like a pig. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look up, hairy pig. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a wild boar. A wild boar? The wild boar is like a pig that lives in the wild. There are different types of wild boars, and the one you found is a young eastern wild boar. Eastern wild boars are found in the tropical jungles of India, Southeast Asia, and the Far East. It likes our potatoes. What else do they eat? Wild boars are omnivores. They eat leaves, fruits, and nuts, and also animals like insects, mice, and worms. Sometimes they damage farmlands when they eat all the crops. Yes, it ate up many of our potatoes earlier. Let's bring it back to its natural habitat where it can find more food. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see your new friend is a young wild boar. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We found it eating our potatoes in our garden. We want to bring it back home. You might want to look for a forest thick with trees and a lot of vegetation. So a place with enough food for them to find and shelter for them to hide from predators. And if you want to find this young boar's mother, you should look for a sounder. A sounder? Yes, a sounder. A sounder is a group of female wild boars and their young children. Male boars will leave their sounder and live by themselves when they are old enough. Male boars have larger canine teeth than the females. This young boar is a female, so she will stay with her sounder. Then we have to bring her back to the sounder she belongs to. Wild boars are shy creatures, but they might attack if they feel threatened or when they are protecting their young. So be careful. You might be able to find a sounder deeper in the forest. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Boy, it's a very hot day. Is she okay? It seems wild boars do not like extreme hot or cold weather. They are nocturnal, so they usually sleep in the day to avoid the heat. Sometimes they roll in the mud to keep themselves cool. What is it, Hero? You found a mud pool! There you go, wild boar! What is it, Hero? It's a lynx. It's one of the wild boar's predators. Oh no, we have to hide. Hmm, the mud seems to camouflage the young wild boar. I don't think the lynx can find the boar. But the lynx can see us. It's coming closer. Let's worry about the dirt later. Here we go.
That was close. Phew. <laughs> Rolling in the mud pool is cool indeed. Let's clean up before we continue. Okay, little one. We'll stay here. It might be too dangerous for us. Look, it's her mother. We did it. We found the sounder of the young wild boar. Great job, everyone. Yay! Yay! a young wild boar in our garden. We learned that wild boars live in dense forests with lots of vegetation. So we went to the forest and brought her back to her sounder. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Equatorial Spitting Cobra. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. I wonder where that frog is going. Let's follow it, too. Careful, Hero. You'll scare the frog away. Huh? Something else is hidden inside the bush? Ah! A snake! Better keep a distance, Hero. It's a snake in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Yikes! Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cobra you found is an equatorial spitting cobra, also known as a black spitting cobra. It is called a spitting cobra because it is able to shoot venom from its fangs. Venom is a toxin, like poison, and is found in some animals such as cobras. Venom can be passed to a person or another animal through a bite or sting. Many cobras defend themselves by injecting venom through their bite, but a spitting cobra prefers to spit or spray venom at a predator's eyes to scare them away. The spitting cobra wiggles its head the same way your eyes move. This helps the cobra's aim when it sprays its venom. That's scary! Actually, spitting cobras are shy animals. They only attack when they feel threatened. Still, equatorial spitting cobras can shoot venom up to three meters away. So it's best to keep your distance. I'll make sure to remember that, Katie. Equatorial spitting cobras live in different forests in Southeast Asia, where they eat small animals like lizards, frogs, and rats. Hmm, I don't think it's safe for us to be near the spitting cobra. We should return the cobra to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a special friend with you today. Here, you'll need these if you're going to be near that spitting cobra. Glasses? Safety glasses, Leo. The venom from spitting cobras can harm your eyes. That's why it's very important to wear these glasses for protection. When threatened, the spitting cobra will aim to shoot its venom at an enemy's eyes. The venom that the spitting cobra sprays causes pain to the eyes and sometimes blindness. 
You will know when you've gotten too close to a cobra when it flares the flap of skin around its head and neck. This flap of skin is called a hood. A cobra will spread its hood when it feels threatened. I see. We'll be careful not to get too close to the cobra. We're trying to find the spitting cobra's home. Do you know where we should look? Spitting cobras like to live near water, in burrows or under rocks, where they can hunt for food. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky. What's wrong with the cobra? The spitting cobra is getting into a defensive pose. Why does it keep flicking its tongue? Spitting cobras have a very good sense of smell. They use their tongues to pick up scents in the air. Do you think it might have picked up the scent of a predator? <laughs> <gasps> they don't look very friendly. They are mongooses. It says here that the mongoose is the cobra's natural predator. Did you see that? The cobra sprayed venom at that mongoose, but the mongoose looks fine. It says here the mongoose is resistant or immune to cobra venom. That means cobra venom has no effect on the mongoose. What do we do now? We're surrounded. I'll clear a path for us. Thanks, Katie. Hold on tight, everyone. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the spitting cobra's home. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found an equatorial spitting cobra in our garden. We learned that the spitting cobra can spray venom when threatened. That's why it's best to keep a safe distance from the spitting cobra. So we went to the forest and brought it to its natural home, far away from other humans. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Clouded Leopard. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock! I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals, which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing. What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. 
I think we should return the cub to its mother since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a rare friend with you today. Why is it rare, Ranger Rocky? Clouded leopards are rare because not many of them are left in the wild, and they are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible. Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because their homes in the forest are cut down for human use. They are also hunted for their patterned fur. You should look for the cub's mother. She can keep it safe. Look for tall trees with lots of shade. That's where the clouded leopard hides. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. <coughs> oh no! The cub is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? <coughs> Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub! We have to save it, but we can't get there. This should work. Let's go. Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. What to do? I'll take this. Great, Leo. Just in time. <laughs> we did it. We found the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! <laughs> a clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Komodo dragon. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. What is it, Hero? What did you find? Hero, it's an egg. Did you scare the bird away from her egg? An egg is one of the ways a baby animal gets born. Most eggs have shells that protect the baby animal inside. The baby bird will have to crack open the shell and push its way out. See, it's pretty hard. 
We need to find a warm place to put the egg so that it will hatch. Great idea, Hero. Let's bring it to the treehouse. I think the baby bird is coming out. That's weird. Baby birds don't look like that. It's not a bird. It's a lizard. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little lizard. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, brother. The computer is looking for information about the lizard. Bingo! This lizard is a Komodo dragon. A dragon? Yes, a Komodo dragon. It's a type of lizard. Despite its name, it doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> it's also known as the Komodo monitor. Where does it come from? Komodo dragons are found mainly on the islands of Southeast Asia. The Komodo dragon you found comes from here. So what do Komodo dragons eat? Komodo dragons eat other animals, such as birds, mammals, and other lizards. It's a carnivore. Baby Komodo dragons eat insects and other small animals. Hmm, there aren't that many insects in our garden. We should bring baby Komodo back to the island it came from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a young male Komodo dragon. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring baby Komodo back to its home. That's great, Leo. But make sure you find a place with no adult Komodo dragons. No adult Komodo dragons? Why not? After laying her eggs, the mother Komodo dragon will leave them to survive on their own and adult Komodo dragons might eat the baby lizards. Oh dear, eat the baby lizards? How will they survive on their own? Young Komodo dragons will live in the trees to hide from predators, such as larger lizards and snakes. When they are bigger, they will go down to walk the land. Then we should help him find a new home away from other lizards and snakes. That's right, Leo. Don't forget, young Komodo dragons live in the trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What is it, Hero? <gasps> Baby Komodo is gone. Where did he go? <laughs> Let's follow Hero. There you are, Hero! Oh no! Baby Komodo is being chased by an adult Komodo dragon! We need to help Baby Komodo! What should we do? Wait! The baby dragon is almost at that tree! He's safe if he can climb up! Oh no! A second Komodo dragon appeared! To scare away a Komodo dragon, we need to make loud noises. Loud noises? Okay, Hero, you know what to do. <coughs> Look, the Komodo dragons are confused because of the noise. I've got 
got you, baby Komodo. <laughs> we did it! We found an empty spot in a tree for the baby Komodo dragon. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a young Komodo dragon in our garden. We learned that a Komodo dragon is a lizard. So we went to the rainforest and found a safe, empty spot in a tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.